YouTube, it's Lottie, and welcome back for another tea review. So today I am going to be reviewing the um, Stash Mango Passion Fruit Herbal Tea. Um, here's what the box looks like, and I discovered that it's not backwards when you see this, so I'm happy about that. Um, opening up the box right here. The sash teas are, of course, in their own individual packets. Um, Alright, that's what those look like. Just, they're pretty plain, but they do have the ingredients printed directly on them. Um, and I will tell you what those are. Rose hips, orange peel, lemongrass, hibiscus, safflower, Mango flavor, licorice root, citric acid, passion fruit flavor. I was a little bit disappointed to see the passion fruit flavor so far down on the list. Um, I don't know if that's because it's more powerful or what. Um, the uh, instructions are to brew three to five minutes. So I always like my herbal tea over brewed. You will almost never ever see me um, take a tea bag out of my herbal tea. Because I really want to get the, the full strength of the flavor. I don't want to, I don't want to short myself on that. And because herbal teas don't really have, don't really have any sort of tannins in them, there really is no harm in leaving it in there. You're never going to get like that really bitter, this is over brewed taste. Um, at least I don't. And that's how I prefer it. So for this tea, because it was um, kind of some nice fruity flavors, I decided to go ahead and add uh, just a touch of honey to it. Um, just to try to kind of bring out those fruit flavors. Okay, so um, I sniffed, the first thing I did, here, I'm going to reenact it for you. I sniffed the tea bag. <laughs> and it smells pretty nice. Um, I don't know that I actually smell any mango or passion fruit in there, um, but it does smell nice. Um, standard tea bag, nice little little tag there. Um, and after I've brewed it in the cup, which of course I brew by pouring boiling hot water over the tea bag, um, the smell is nothing to write home about. I would say it's less fragrant in the cup than it is in the bag itself, which really surprised me. I was not expecting that at all. Um, and as I sipped it carefully after having brewed it for several minutes, I couldn't help but notice that I really can't distinguish the flavors very much at all. I don't find it very flavorful. Um, and I was really disappointed about that, but, you know, I realized that I've never kept a lot of stash brand in my collection and I think that's I think that's why because whenever I have them I never feel like it's anything to write home about um, and I keep coming back because I'm like these sound so good um, I do actually have at least one other uh, stash brand to make review on here pretty soon um, and that one's going to be a little bit different but uh, I'm glad I put the honey in there because um, it gives me something to taste uh, I I regret it just a little bit because I can't taste much besides it, and I didn't put that much in there at all. Um, so, I don't know. Did it help? Did it not? Who knows? Um, I'll definitely have to try it again without the honey, but I'd, I doubt it's going to make much of a difference. I just don't think this is a very flavorful tea. Um, so I'm definitely not taking my tea bag out after three to five minutes. No, no. Um, it was a pretty good price. I think I got it on sale, actually. I don't remember how much exactly. Um, but Stash is a pretty big ba brand, and I just don't know how it can kind of get away with such a lackluster flavored tea. But maybe maybe some people like it. Maybe my taste buds are shot. Maybe I'm used to big, punchy flavors. But um, it just wasn't for me. And it's really a pity because I'm a really big fan of mango. I'm a really big fan of passion fruit. I actually I love uh, LaCroix sparkling waters. And those are two of my favorite flavors of all time. Um, so again, it, it was kind of disappointing. Uh, I'll, I'll keep trying it. I'll keep trying to give it another go, but, um, 
as it is, I can't really recommend it just because it's not what I like. But um, if you think you would like to try it out and see if it's something that you'd like, of course, um, I always, always recommend that. So that's pretty much it for that. I don't have a lot to say about it. It was, it was disappointing and I am disappointed. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, if you have any questions about this tea that I can answer, um, I don't know what, I can answer about my opinions, um, but uh, yeah, you can definitely leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any feedback, um, good or, or constructively critical, um, I'd be more than happy to hear. And um, if you'd like to see more of your reviews, please give me a subscription because I will continue to do this for as long as it makes me happy. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. And oh, oh, I did want to mention I do have a fish tank in the background um, that has a filter constantly running, so it's got falling water, and that's. That's really the background noise that you're hearing, if you do hear that, which on the playback of the last one I could definitely, you could definitely hear it. So hopefully that doesn't bother you, um, but if it does make you want to go pee, I recommend that you do that. So <laughs> have a great day guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!